Alright, goddammit. I said I would do it and I did it. Watch dogs. And I got this motherfucker for a steal. This shit was like 10 bucks for the, uh, for the complete edition. I wish y'all niggas could see. I just got like 15 pop-ups. This install, this install, this install, this install, this install. I got the, the other shit with T-Bone. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that for y'all too, but... It's, it's cracking, so shout out Emerald Monkey. I told you I would do it, and I did it. We here. <clears throat> Hope I pronounced your name right. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it said Emerald Monkey, so shout out to you. My brother told you I would do it, and I motherfucking did it. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I probably should have did all this beforehand. My bad. See, look, I got bad blood and everything. Aiden Pierce new game. I played this before too. I say that all the time, but I played this on the on the Xbox. I actually, I played this shit when it first came out. I had got um Max Payne three, and that was before my mama was okay with like letting me see titties and shit in the video game. And of course, me being a fucking trying to be a good kid. <clears throat> My dweeb ass. I went in there and told her. She didn't even see the titties. I went in there and told her it was titties in, it was titties in the game. Or no, that's how I got sleeping dogs. I'm high. My parents just got me this game. They got the, they got me this shit for my birthday. Because I have been wanting this shit for a while. Because this was the first GTA game that I could like. That I could low key play in front of them. It wasn't no titties in this game. At least I didn't think it was. <clears throat> I kept it low key about that one though. Which I don't know why I told her about that because I don't remember my dad being in the house when when that happened But I remember him being there when I got this game But then again, I don't know cuz I remember sleeping dogs came out a while ago So that he probably was living with us at that time. I don't even know bro. the things that I chose to lie about and, not, and Chose to tell the truth about was fucking weird cuz there's definitely titties in this game in this game and the shit that you see in Max Payne, I mean, it's a lot of them, but... Nigga, it's full-on titties in this. It's hers, actually. <laughs> okay, I'm in the lobby of the Merlot. Alright, let's do it. I'm hacking in. Floating in a cloud of data. I just reach out, pluck it from the sky, and it's mine. It's ours. Stay focused. This nigga got a horny over, over the computer. Niggas is nasty. Got a nasty security system. How much we got? A hundred grand in 30 seconds. God bless the rich and famous. We are the modern day magicians, siphoning bank accounts out of thin air. Damn, you, you wanna right, you wanna fucking keep sucking your own dick, just let's just get the money. What was that? My bad, let me stop chewing in the mic. I think someone else is hacking in. Let's take a peek. Let's not. Stick to the plan, Damien. Second the accounts and get out. Adventure, my boy. Have faith in your mentor. Something triggered that alarm. Let's Maybe I'm you. just a I don't wanna say a capitalist, because that ain't the right word, but I've been looking at these numbers that niggas be I'm doing shit for now. about $150,000. That's a life changing boot. I don't know. What the hell like, is that? We need to I think I'll go to jail for over four billion, but 150k. Damien, it's over. I'm Maybe it's just because I live in or I live in California. That's not really much out here. It's definitely like if you have an apartment or if you have a house, it's, it's you can survive for the rest of your life off of that, I would think. But if you don't, then yeah, you would have to. You feel me? And that, and at that, I don't know. Let's do some quick math. Yeah, you got 150k. One of our contractors ran a search for the hackers in the Merlot job. You're assigned a. We was in the hood on the north side of Long Beach. Hit the family if you need to. This guy's hacking That's fourteen thousand dollars. That's fourteen thousand dollars a year. Nope. Which? Okay, I'm good. You'll never hear from him again. 
Well, it ain't that bad, but. Well, well fuck it. Let's try. Um, let's. Fuck it. I don't got nothing else to do. Let's. Let's, uh. Hold on, let me do this again. I'm high. Uh, shit, so long. My bad. Oh shit, I missed it. I mean, I know what happened. They killed his They killed his niece, but I probably would have made a joke if I was paying attention. <laughs> it was fucked up. But, all right, look. One year. Two years. Three years. Four years. Five years. Six years. Seven years. Eight years, nine years, ten years. That's ten years worth of rent. Which that is a that's a very long time. So I guess I take that back. But that's a that's just rent. That's not a, that's not adding in a car note. That's not adding in our phone bill. That's not adding in the fact she had two kids. That's not gas. That's not none of that. Name. They never gave me a name. Yeah, I'll tell you her name. Oh. Lena. Lena Pierce. You think he give a fuck? About your dead ass niece talking about some Lena Pierce. I didn't know about any kids, alright? That wasn't supposed to happen. I want you to think very carefully. Think. Look, man. Even if I knew a name, you couldn't get me talking. These guys, I heard stories, man, they're like nothing you ever seen before. You gotta walk away from this, man. Some things you can't walk please, away from. Please, please. This the more recent nigga? Oh no, I, I am paying attention. <clears throat> I spoke to him on the phone. I don't know. Me where to find you. That's all I know, man. That's all I know. If this the nigga, I think this might be the more recent nigga. I don't know. This is the more recent nigga. Yep. Now. Bitch. Oh. How's your memory now? I don't hesitate. Maybe if I would have built it up a little bit more, this team would have played out differently. Look at this dumbass. Uh huh. Fa. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> Nigga, just like clockwork. Well, no, it's because I play Watch Dogs too. So a lot of the controls are still the same. And the character's black, which is always a plus. Won't talk to me. But speaking of black and white characters, not that Twitch streamers are characters, but fucking. But y'all got them. Y'all done seen what's been happening today, man. It's crazy out here. Uh, apparently, man. Shit, I don't even know. I do kind of know what's happening. I seen what's his name. Not what's his name. I actually, I really fucking him. I seen Moist Critical do a breakdown on this shit. I guess fucking XQC didn't go to some event. And then that turned into some some nigga at the event. I guess he got. I don't know if these two things were connected or not, but I guess some nigga got caught for gambling. And then with that, that turned into a Twitter debate on if people should, if they should be allowing gambling and shit like that on Twitch. Which I don't know. I'm not really here to get into the debates of that. I mean, they've allowed worse on Twitch. Shorty was getting fucked on Twitch and got a, a weak ban. So. <laughs> I kind of. Damn, I want to skip the fuck out of this so bad. I need to keep moving. I kind of think that. And don't get me wrong, I understand that people have to be family friendly to a certain extent, but I also kind of think that it's not necessarily Yo, Twitch's. It is their job, but you kind of should. If you don't want your kids to gamble, you should pay, You should control what Where they're the watching. you been? What? He's talking to me. As a kid that was playing and watching a lot of wild shit underage, but give me my bullets. My parents knew I was watching South Park and motherfucking the Boondocks. And they also knew I was playing shit like this. And that's different from gambling, but call. And you get what you need from Maurice? Oh, you're kidding me. Let's clean this mess up. Stop admiring your work. Hey, that's cute and all, but I'm disappointed, Pierce. I mean, you failed to spot the nasty inter-gang drama I'm creating here. I don't like loose ends. Let's get him out of here. No, too late. 
Bottom of the eighth. Chicago's ahead. Game's almost over. We are out of time. Damn. Huh. Nice shot. Thank you. Huh. <laughs> You're not just a little interested in my phone call. Not All right, really. Fine. Tell me about your phone call. Glad you asked. Okay, we got a bunch of dead bodies, right? We got 40,000 people above us. We need a distraction. I called the cops. Why? Oh, yeah, true story. So, cops arrive, and Maurice's little band of brothers arrive, and pow, 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 pow. Jordy, tell me you're joking. No, no, I called them too. Look, we get a messy altercation at the end of the game. You and I slip away undetected. They'll appreciate the plan tomorrow. <clears throat> Excuse me. That was very fucking gross, I'm sorry. Punctual cops. I handle these guys. You grab Maurice, get him out of here. Maurice, what do I look like, a chauffeur? Yes. He's the shooter. <laughs> The I'm fuck? You you actually are dressed like a chauffeur, nigga. You valet ass, nigga. You just got on gloves. Yeah, I know. Chicago police. Scratch my shit up. I'ma shoot you in your fucking face. Yourself. But um, yeah, I guess uh, damn, I forget. No, I remember what I was talking about. Yeah, most critical gave a breakdown. Whoop de wop, whoop de wham. And uh, basically, what I was trying to say is, I don't necessarily think that. Because Train Rex was the one that said something, which was which sparked what I was gonna say about Miskiff, but. I don't think that if you watch court. train wrecks and he gambles, I don't think that that's promoting gambling to underage kids because that's assuming that everybody that's on Twitch is underage and that's also kind of like assuming his uh, demographic and all that other shit. I do think, however, that that Steve will do his shit where you fucking, uh, and I mean, I guess that's also the same thing, that's assuming that all the people that watch his shit are underage, but that shit where you're actually promoting a gambling site, I think that that shit is promoting gambling, because that's actually what that nigga was doing. And don't get me wrong, I know that technically them going to the site on stream, unless they like, you know, they move the, the fucking whatever, and hide the, because I don't, I don't, I'm not really a computer nigga. Unless they, but I know that there's a way that you can, on stream, you can not see what's on the screen. If they do some shit like that, and then they hide the URL or something, which I don't know how you would do that, but if somehow you can find a way to do that, and then they gamble, which, keep it a buck, nobody's really doing all that. <clears throat> so I'm not really here to argue about the morality of gambling on Twitch. Twitch is a platform, they made their decision, they said they don't want that shit, so I guess people just gotta abide by that rule now, but... What I did want to speak on is that I guess this nigga, what's his, uh, Miskiff got caught for saying the N word and shit, cause Train Rex said that fucking Miskiff was, a uh, was protecting his homie for, uh, for SA, which that's, that's crazy if his homie did that and it's crazy for defending him. Again, I'm not gonna speak on whether I believe that or not, cause I don't really watch a lot of Miskiff. So, and I don't even know the nigga that they were talking about. He's not moving. If that is, you know, it's very, uh, fucking, um, I'm I'm sorry I'm high I'm not very good with just thinking words of thinking about words off the cuff. It's very unjustifiable. But I don't like that his homie or whoever put that shit out of my like. And don't get me wrong, I think if you, cause I was listening to your age and he said that the Poggers community, I guess these niggas are like the uh, they're supposed to be the, not necessarily the wholesome people of Twitch, but the looking down on people. When I think of that, I do kind of. I guess XQC is, is would be a part of the Poggers community, and if XQC is like is would be a part of the Poggers, then I can definitely understand how they would be looked at as looking down upon people. Cause not that I agree with Andrew Tate at all. Not that I'm not an Andrew Tate nigga. I don't really watch his videos and shit like that. But XQC is definitely was looking at Andrew Tate from the like nigga. Why are you saying shit like this? You're poisoning people. <laughs> So, if Miskiff was like that, then I understand why people would out him. Because I don't necessarily think you should be canceled for saying things, for saying wild shit a couple years ago as a nigga that said wild shit a couple years ago. I'm um, keep it a buck. Like, and I mean, I guess making jokes about the N-word is different because I'm black. I, I know that there's no racism or hate or, or any type of power structure of me looking down on anybody about it. But with that, I don't make those type of jokes around white people and I try not to make them a lie anymore. More, but I can't lie and act like I haven't said the F word. Now, I don't say that anymore because that's that shit is offensive. It's homophobic and I never want to come across as offensive or like I'm insensitive to anybody. With the with the jokes that I make, I know I make a lot of ignorant jokes, but I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. That's fucked up. 
and I just never would, and I don't know, maybe it's because it's the way I was raised, but I never would feel like I could ever Bad look point. down or speak down on anybody. Down. I'm stuck unless we create a major distraction. I want to cut the power and slip past them. Do we all stay here? I don't <laughs> want these kids to be directly out of the news. Everything's connected to the CTOS with a serious firewall. Right now, I need to get out of the stadium. Can you find me the nearest access point? Oh, look, you can tell I've not played this shit before. I'm not even asking blunt questions. I'm, <laughs> I'm in the ATM, all of that. But they said Miskiff was. I think they said Miskiff is like 30, and they said he was saying this shit like five years ago. Which I'm keeping a buck again. Which I just, whenever I speak on shit, I always feel like I have to be transparent. I, I just looked at my text just to see if I had ever, because I don't remember the last time I said that word, and I'm like, nigga, did I? I feel like it had been fucking five years or something, like Miskiff. But I said that shit two years ago. Now I don't know if it matters or not, but I was 18 at the time. I'm 20 now. I, again, I don't use that word anymore. I also was never, again, none of this stuff matters because it's ignorant and you should, I should have never said that and I take complete responsibility for it, I, I, that's why I don't say it no more, it's fucking stupid, it's never funny, it's not none of that shit, but I was never saying it on some like, bashing gay people, we hate gay people, none of that shit, it was never that, I was never raised like that. So that's why in these type of what the fuck am I supposed to be looking for? Finding hack the guard with the security codes. Is it not this nigga? They not giving me no. Oh, yes they are. That's why you, that's why you need glasses, fucking blind bitch. But when I speak on shit like this, I always try and have a little bit of sensitivity, and I never try and speak down from it, speak on it from a high horse, like I'm just. The fucking like I'm just God's gift to earth and I've never made a mistake before but I also with that I don't think you can be one of those people looking down on people if you're in your if you're in your Text messages and in your DMs calling people the S word and calling people the N word and calling people the F word and <clears throat> you feel me But then you would say that these type of people need to be canceled and deplatformed if you're doing that same, same type of shit So if he's ever said that then I kind of don't have any remorse for him if that happens i just don't think you should be saying that type of shit at all and i'm not even like i don't i'm not even just not saying that shit because i don't do that because i'm doing this i just don't say that type of shit now now the n-word i'll still crack the n-word joke every now and again but i feel like it's different because uh, like i said i'm black but the f-word jokes and all that shit i just I don't know who is you know like i heard joe Budden say like about the ti shit when he was talking about his daughter's hymen like I do, like who is that funny to like I get that it's a joke sometimes but sometimes the joke is like who's laughing at that you know not not everything needs to be needs to be made for satire you don't always have to be Mr. Edgy man and I'm not saying T.I. was doing that but that's why I don't make that joke no more because it's like when I was saying that I was saying it to be edgy and like oh look at me I'm, I'm Mr. like but nigga you just look dumb that's that shit is fucking stupid which is why again I have to keep reiterating it that I don't say that no more because I, I I'm keeping it honest, but I also don't want niggas to get the wrong message from this like I'm just saying that saying offensive shit is okay. It's never okay because Cat Williams said this shit best. I think he said it on the Joe Bun podcast, which is that nigga, if you can't make a good joke without being offensive, then you then you're not funny. Which is why I try not to say that shit. Which is why I try not to say shit like that. Now you don't have to always be Mister. Let's take it to the next level, man. Let's turn it up, man. You can, you, you feel me? You can, you can. Like I, I like making niggas laugh by just. I make a wild joke, but it doesn't always have to be. Oh my god, abortion. Oh my god, F word. Oh my god, N word. We'll do like you feel me, my nigga. Just, just chill. So, I, I, I feel. But with saying all of that, I don't really fuck with the fact that his homie put this out if that was five years ago because not that that makes it any better, but why are you sitting on this for five years, you know? I don't like the fact that it took for um for train wrecks and him to get into an argument and train wrecks to say something about him being a, a rape apologist or some shit like that or somebody defending uh somebody defending somebody that does an SA. I don't you feel me? If he's I don't like that that had to come out for him to be like, oh yeah, and by the way, he was saying the N-word and the F-word and all this other wild shit. Like, you should've just, if you were really that offended on, about it, just stand on business. Don't try and, let's not make it a fucking shit on Miskiff party. As a nigga that doesn't watch Miskiff, you feel, you feel me? I just don't really, I don't really like the, the selective politic and the selective bullying. Like, oh, 
a bunch of niggas are saying you're not shit. Well, let me also do this and and give me like just stand on business. If you really felt that way, you should have put that out when he said that shit. Cause not for nothing, and I haven't really looked into it, so he might have. But you don't really see what the other niggas was saying in the in them in them DMs. You just see what Miskiff was saying. They could have been making them same type of jokes right back with this nigga. But since it's a shit on Miskiff party, we just finna throw Miskiff under the bus. I don't really, I don't, I don't really rock with shit like that. Again, I don't rock with people saying the f word, people saying the n word, and just saying goofball shit to be cringy. But I don't think that we should just. Pile up on people because it's time to shit on somebody now. I'll give him a couple of days. And then I'll start reaching out. So yeah, I don't know. I don't really think you gotta be offensive to be funny, which is again why I keep reiterating this point. I do not say that I do not say that word no more. That shit is that shit is corny. I look like looking at my messages two years ago, I was upset that I said that shit two years ago. I thought I stopped saying that shit when I was fucking uh when I was like seventh grade. Cause hearing niggas say that now you know, like, you ever hear somebody say some shit and, and you, like, laugh a little bit because you're like, damn, nigga, you took it there? That's what I do. Not because it's funny, but because, like, I like I explained about the N-word. It's like, nigga, you, why, why, what the fuck do you think that's doing right now? You feel me? You really, like, that's where you, I feel like whenever you hear a nigga say the F-word or the N-word, you know that. And that nigga spelled it wrong. Who the fuck puts a, uh, an I in the F word? Not that I'm, not that I'm the, the, you feel me? Mr. Grammar Man, but you won't be offensive, nigga. At least spell it the right way. What the fuck, you know? And they got me in the Bates Motel, but you feel me? I just, I just, I don't know. Again, I don't like selective politics. And if you was going to stand on that, stand on that when it, ha when it first happened. When it first happened, show all the text messages and all of that. Don't be a nigga that's oh well. He he's he's. It's time to shit on them. Fuck it, let's shit on them. Let me show you how. Let me show you how really bad of a person he is. You know. It's crazy that that's that's the thing that I don't really like. That's why I don't like arguing with people because it never stays where it is. How the fuck do we go from he from he um supports gambling? Because I think he said some shit about train wrecks, which whatever him and train wrecks beef is him and train wrecks beef. But how the fuck it go from that to yo this nigga says the f word? Damn little nigga, you don't want me to go? Uncle's a different kind of person. It doesn't mean he doesn't love us. Oh, what the fuck that mean? I'm a different kind of. What the fuck you saying? Like he, like he, like he. Yeah, you know I me. Mean? Don't say it like that. Like I'm, like I'm on some Aries. Like he on some Aries spirit shit. He's talking about he a different kind of person. He just he likes stealing from people. He don't. He don't like stealing that type of shit from people. He likes stealing money. All right, my bad. <laughs> How you say a nigga a different type of person because he want to find a nigga that killed your daughter? What type of shit? My fault for being a good uncle. I trust our info in finding Maurice was correct. I'll relax. The fuck? Care about that little nigga anyway? What the fuck? One my kid. Got a shower, and I don't get, and I don't got, and I don't got to keep showing up to them dumbass tea parties with them stinky ass stuffed animals. She pouring that nasty ass sink water in them teacups. Come on, Uncle Aiden, let's. <laughs> Yo, you could tell I don't fucking like kids. <laughs> nah, but every now and again, like seeing a baby, it'll give me baby fever. And I don't even know if niggas can use it like that, but I'm like, damn, man. Kids is really cool. Like, I wouldn't mind having a little me running around. Right now, I would, but increase the amount of. Yes, Sarsky, let me get the amount of money increased. I like funds of my nigga. But right now, I would for sure um, mind having an extra little nigga. As in, I wouldn't want it to happen. But instead of extra, like I got one, I would mind it. Like I wouldn't want that bitch to happen. But if it came to it, I obviously take care of him. But case is scary, man. You don't want your kid to be calling people fucking slurs and shit. <laughs> slurs and shit on the, on the internet. 
Nah, but I, like I said, I'm not really much of the. I'm not really a, a big Miskit fan. Not to keep circling back to this type of shit, but which is why again I like to be transparent and just not seem like I'm talking from this high horse. I'm mean, a nigga that's made mistakes too. I again I look back at that shit. I look back at that shit and not cringe because it's like nigga, why were you saying this? You feel me? That's not. That's not funny at all. But with that, I don't think this would be such a big deal if if Miss Kiff was honest. Okay. You feel me? The boss. We'll go to <laughs> I feel like I should be quiet during this moment, but I don't know. I'm gonna keep talking. Because, I mean, it's sad, but nigga, it's a cartoon kid. But, and what I mean by him being honest is, I feel like if you're a fan of somebody, like if you're a Joe Budden fan, if you're a, a new Rory and Maul fan, just anybody's fan who might make an edgy joke, June 4th, that's a day. So, I, I don't, well, I've, say, I've said that I was, that I'm 20. Sick of remembering it that way. This around my birthday. Dream of her tiny face pressing the window when she knows I was coming over. June fourth is around my birthday. I don't know if that's when she died or if that's when she was born. It's the same nightmare. But I feel like if you're a fan of these people that might crack a, a a bad joke every once in a while or say something every once in a while, they'll bleep it out. And I just feel like if they were. If they were a different type of people, people would be like, oh my god, did you hear it? Or, they, obviously, I know that they're bleeping it out not to be canceled, but they would be like, wow, did you hear that so-and-so says whatever they had to bleep out? Why would they say something like this? You feel me? And I feel like if he was just a little bit more honest, just about the way he is, and just... And, again, I don't know, I'm not the biggest Misfit fan, so maybe he was a... Um, Maybe he was real honest and real just transparent about the jokes that he used to make, and maybe people didn't know it, it was this, it was to this level. But I just feel like shit like this that can't happen or it won't happen unless you're trying to play the moral ground, play the moral high ground, which is why I just always like to be honest about shit and tell people if I don't know about something or if I've done something in that nature before, because I never want to make it seem like I'm just the best nigga walking the earth and I think maybe I think that's maybe what got to him because I think a lot of again if it's if it's in the Poggers community I think the Poggers community is different from the WL community I, I, I don't really know too many and I don't know if it's a race thing or not but facial recognition software and I've got access to everyone's personal details and I think I used to think this game was pretty cool but thinking back Aiden's kind of a piece of shit he's just walking around stealing money from people for no reason but um and and it'll and it'll give you a blue box when it's a nigga with a lot of money. <laughs> Ain't that some shit? But um, I kind of uh, do we have enough time for this shit? We don't. Um, but yeah, I just kind of feel like shit like this wouldn't happen if he if people just weren't sitting on a high horse, which is I just you know. And again, I think you should always try and give, like, if you have, if you have an audience of just people that are watching you, I think you should always try and lead them, lead them on the right path, as in, don't, don't, don't fucking tell them that it's okay to, to, to just say certain wild shit. I don't think that you should do shit like that at all. I, I wish that, I knew that he was gonna steal that. Um, fuck, I could just, I could just run over there, but, um. So I get, dude. Like, obviously, you should be responsible. With, you should be responsible with your platform always. But with that, I don't think that you should. I think there's a way to be responsible and not take the high horse, which I think Joe Budden does that a lot. Not to keep quoting them, but I listen to them a lot, and I, I think that they're good at doing things like that. It's just like I've done this before, but you shouldn't do this. Because as a nigga that said that word, again, I think it's horrible when people say it. I think it's ugly, and like I just said, I don't think that. I think if you say shit like that, it's because you don't have nothing to say. And you're trying to go to the most ignorant, offensive thing that you think will break this person down and make them feel like less than, when really, you're the person that should feel like less than off of judging somebody. Which is fucking stupid and idiotic from the first place because we're all human beings on a flowing rock trying to figure out how we're going to get to the next day. Not to be Mr. fucking Malcolm X, but I just don't think that niggas should be 
looking down on people for making mistakes if you're making those same type of mistakes, which is why I'm very, 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 very proud to say that I don't say that word no more. I'm extremely happy to say that. Not that that's a fucking, you shouldn't, you shouldn't get a pat on the back for not being a piece of shit, but I also think that being a piece of shit was just such a big part of culture, especially hip-hop culture, which I don't think that that's a good thing, because they, again, to quote Joe Budden, what the fuck is the culture? I just think that that word was all really normalized back in the day, and not that it was in 2019, because it wasn't at all, but I also think you gotta learn and grow from your mistakes. So, I don't know, I hope that wouldn't if nothing else i hope he learned something from this and i hope he i think you just got to come in and address it and apologize like again as a nigga that hasn't said that word i'm still apologizing for it because thinking back on it it's it fucking it makes me cringe i just there's nothing there's nothing funny about that word in no context is that funny <clears throat> but i don't know with that i'm done being high horse man Cause I don't, I don't want Miskiff to be canceled. At, to be canceled at all. At least, at least, let me, let me, let me hold that. I don't want him to be canceled for things that he said back in the day. Because again, being 25, you know what? Actually, cause that nigga was 25. I was 18 saying this, and I was, I was an adult. But I don't know. At 25, they say your brain is fully developed. But I thought I would want him to give. I would want to give him the same grace that somebody would want to give. That I would want somebody to give me. That's something that my pops told me growing up, which is the golden rule. Treat others how you would want to be treated. So, if he genuinely is not like that, and I guess there's really no way to genuinely tell because he said it over text message, not, and he appeared a different way, but again, that's why I try and be transparent because I don't never want it to be like, oh, he said this, but he was like this here. It was like, no, he was like this here and like this here. So, there's never really a way to tell if somebody's being transparent, but I would just hope that if nothing else, I hope that people make their uh, judgment based of off Miskiff based off of the other allegations, the serious ones, the ones involving sex crime, because in no circumstance do we tolerate any of that type of shit. That shit is nasty, and I think the victim actually put out a video saying that so-and-so touched her, which I don't want to say so-and-so because I just really don't know. I haven't watched the video. I haven't watched none of that. I'm not really tapped in with that whole side of Twitch. I just watched fucking Moist Critical, which I think Moist Critical is a WL nigga. I'm gonna get out of here, but I think he's a WL nigga. I don't really think he's a much of a poggers, just because of just, just the way he breaks shit down and the way he speaks, you know? Which, again, that's another dude who I don't think if some text messages came out of some shit that he said, you would probably be like, oh yeah, that's how he talks. I don't think he would ever get exposed or cancels. He's always him, which is why I'm always me. I don't think you should get on the internet and portray a, a, a tougher version of yourself or a better version of yourself. Because at some point in life, both of those are going to catch up to you. You feel me? So, I don't know. If you're going to make your assessment off Miskiff, I would hope that you would make it off of these the more serious allegations. Not something that he said five years ago. Keep in mind... And if you are going to do it, take it with a grain of salt because the nigga that put this out had sat on this information for five years and then waited until another nigga said something about something else that didn't have shit to do with racism and then was like, oh yeah, by the way, he's racist and homophobic, which again, I'm not excusing that. Racism and homophobia are two serious things still plaguing the nation. I don't know how people are so fucking so stupid, but... You feel me? Just, 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 just... Just, you know, please, just please stop saying hateful words, you know, mean what you say, say what you, and mean what you say and say what you mean, nigga. Which is why, before I spoke on any of this, I had to make sure I let it be known that I've, not that it, not that this is something to stand on, but I never want to make it seem like I'm just high horse, man, and I, I, I never have fucked up a day in my life, because I have. I mean, I tell all these dumbass stories from me being a kid, but nigga, I was 18 saying stupid shit. You feel me? Sometimes you 25 saying stupid shit. Not for nothing, and I'm going to close on this, but I heard Ish from the Joe Bunn podcast say that, the, and I, this is something that I believe a thousand percent, just because adults have tried to do, they just try to do this shit to, to the kids, but I don't think age has shit to do with maturity. I think you can be, and I thank God that I know a lot of mature 
older people in my life, but you can be a however many year old boy, you can be a however many year old girl, and you, everybody should know that from seeing fucking these Karens on the internet, niggas be 40 and 50 year old, for, like, there was the white bitch f flipping the fuck out of Victoria's Secret, nigga, she was 50. Come in. About to, <laughs> somebody knocked on my door. But yeah, like people, you can be old and be a fucking kid. Age doesn't have shit. Doesn't have shit to do with maturity. But with that, we going Cause I think, look, this nigga is old and he's probably about to do some immature shit when we come back. So we gonna stop this nigga from doing some nasty shit. Just like Miss Kiff should have stopped his homie from doing some nasty shit. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. No, I'm not just playing. Actually, I'm not just playing. I'm not just playing because I actually did really did happen. So I don't want to be that was really fucked up. I shouldn't have made that joke. I'm sorry. I'm I'm gonna leave before I say some more stupid shit. Um, tell the people that you love that you love them. Uh, take everything with a grain of salt. Don't pedestalize people and the people that and the people that get on anywhere and try and appear the holiest are. Are normally the people that are weird and also y'all got to know the difference between people being completely truthfully honest and people trying to be holy because a lot of niggas will 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 I mean just just like Miskiff I'm pretty sure he's sometimes at some point said that homophobia is horrible which it is but he's also saying shit like that which I just said homophobia was horrible but two years ago I was saying that so which is why I don't think, th which is why I'm not judging him off of that. I'm judging him off of the other allegations. You feel me? It's un it's inexcusable, but I think if you can grow and learn from it, then you can grow and learn from it. Now, I don't think you can grow and learn from being a sexual assaulter, but, or somebody that apologizes for some shit like that, but that's also because I have never done something like that, so, I don't know, but, I didn't really even say nothing funny. I kind of just, this is just, Nigga, a trending topic one, but I don't know. This bit been long. I'm I don't know when I'm coming back, but soon. <clears throat> Burp, tell the, tell the niggas you love you love them. Go watch. Uh, now you see me, now you don't. Just cause I had something to do with magic. Uh, go listen to something by Beanie Siegel. Bye.